Welcome to this week's edition of Wolves Weekly. I'm your host, Mark Colachico, the Director of Media Relations here at Western Oregon University. I'm joined today by head women's basketball coach, Holly Howard Carpenter. Holly, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, thanks. So let's look a little bit back at last week. You guys had two really tough opponents come in in the form of Alaska Anchorage, who's nationally ranked, as well as Alaska Fairbanks. Let's talk a little bit first about the Alaska Anchorage game last Thursday. You know, I thought we came in focused, uh, ready to go against Anchorage. Uh, we defended, we were able to score. Um, we actually held them under their average. Uh, we were able to score above our average. Um, you know, we had some key people step up in the absence of um, some of our other players. Uh, Jordan Modershaw came up, you know, came up big for us. Katie started, got her first start of the season, and, um, you know, she shot the ball really well. And, um, you know, we, we did a good job of stepping up when we needed to. Um, Anchorage is tough. Um, but we competed. We actually had a lead most of the first half until they started pressing. And then, um, you know, we kind of scrambled a little bit um, and then regained our composure and then end ended up only down one at half. Um, and then in the second half, got in a little bit of foul trouble. Um, hard to keep some people in the game. But um, overall, I thought we, we competed. We hit our marks that we wanted to for that game. Um, and then Saturday against Fairbanks, uh, you know, they're a much, much better team than they were last year. Um, you know, they run. Their transition really hurt us, and um, we didn't get back. Uh, and that, that was one thing that um, we, was the takeaway from that we need to have better transition defense. Um, one thing that I noticed in the Anchorage game is um, you guys hit 10 threes. The first time you guys have done that in over a year. Yeah. Uh, first time all year that you guys have done that. So do you think that was kind of one of the things that kept you, at least, like you say, in the, in the game for a majority of it? I'd say probably the first 23, 24, maybe even 25 minutes. You guys were hanging tough with the seventh-ranked team in the country. Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, the three, our three-point shooting has been kind of an Achilles heel for us. It's not something that, um, you know, we focus our offense around, but, uh, you know, we want to try to get to the free throw line, but um, it definitely helps when we're scoring threes to their twos. And so um, we were hoping to have that again on Saturday night, um, but we had different people step up um, for a Saturday night. Um, Sammy came off the bench and um, had a double-double, and um, Shyla Akins came in, I believe scored 12 points. Um, so it's nice to see in the absence of some teammates that different people are stepping up because I think we're going to need that down the road. Um, so it, it was nice to see. Well, and let's talk a little bit uh, looking forward. As you say, you know, down the road, you guys hit the road this week. Um, first time in 2015 that you guys are going to travel. You're up at Western Washington on Thursday, and then you follow that going across the border to British Columbia and taking on Simon Fraser on Saturday. Let's look a little bit first at the Western Washington game. What are you and your coaching staff seeing heading into Thursday night's game? Uh, you know, Western Washington's a tough matchup. Um, they have uh, very experienced, uh, really good guards that can shoot the three. So um, obviously with our zone, you know, outside shooting is going to be a challenge for us. Um, but I, I think uh, if we run it like we did against Anchorage, I think we'll be fine. Um, and we just got to stay in front of the ball. Um, they're very uh, two-dimensional. They can shoot the ball and they can drive. So, you know, our key is, is just to keep the ball in front of us and then, you know, limit them to one opportunity, uh, boxing out. And, um, you know, we, gotta, we, got to, we have to attack on the offensive end. We can't get um, stagnant. We can't stand. That's something that we kind of get in the habit of doing. And um, we're not getting anything out of our offense when we do that. So just to, just to stay active and, you know, make, make people guard us for 30 seconds. And then look a little bit towards that Simon Fraser game. They're coming off their, the first century mark uh, offensively in, in their D2 era, which is young. But, I mean, that's a good, good thing that they've uh, really kind of publicized a little bit. But, um, you know, how are you guys going to go and, and stop really one of the, the more formidable offensive teams in the GNAC? You know, again, it's a team effort. We have to play team defense. Um, our help side defense and transition defense has got to get better. That's one thing we focused on this week um, in practice, uh, yesterday and today. And, um, you know, it's, it's a defensive team effort, and that's what we're focusing on. Uh, we're just trying to take one game at a time right now, but um, that's something that, you know, needs to improve for, for the rest of the season. And then real quickly as we uh, come close to the end of the show, 
I know you guys, uh, a lot of the coaches here, uh, as you are, you can go one game at a time, but mm -hmm. we need to look a couple games down the road. You guys have a big game coming up on the 24th. Um, we've got Root Sports coming in yeah. to, to really publicize that game and broadcast that game really region-wide. Um, it will be against Montana State Billings, as you can see there on the 24th. That is a 3 p.m. contest, so uh, note, note that, fans, as you're looking at that graphic. It was originally scheduled for a 2 p.m. contest, but it was switched to 3 p.m. based on the Root Sports schedule. So, um, you know, not looking at Billings, let's look at the Root Sports um, aspect of it. What are you guys really going to take from that game? I think it's, a, it's great exposure for us, um, you know, as a program that's um, in a rebuilding phase I think it's important to you know put our name out there and um, it's important for us to you know show people what what bas what type of basketball we play and what type of program we're going to be and want to be um, I think that's going to be a great opportunity for us you know um, Billings is always a nationally um, recognized program and um, you know this year I, I think this is a great opportunity for us to I think it's gonna be a great game and then uh, one little aspect or, or twist that you're having on that is you are welcoming back the women's basketball alumni. Right. So talk a little bit about that. What is your goal in bringing them back as well? You know, um, last year, uh, being the first year in our program, we didn't focus a lot outside of basketball. Um, it was mainly recruiting and player development. And so this year our staff has really um, – focused on um, getting out in the community and then engaging with our alumni. And so this is a, be a first opportunity for people to come back and um, really get to know us um, as the coaching staff, but also the players. Um, and for our players to understand that, you know, Western Oregon does have a history and tradition of winning. Um, regardless of if it was in the NAI era, um, we're in a new era now, and why, why can't that be the same? And so um, just to connect our players now with, with players that um, played in the past and just create a, a relationship with them. Well, Holly, we wish you good luck this Thank week. You. Fans, just a reminder that the, the Wolves are on the road this week when they take on Western Washington on Thursday, follow it up with a game at Simon Fraser on Saturday, and then a uh, week from this coming Saturday will be that Root Sports game that Coach uh, Howard Carpenter was t and I were talking about. That'll be in the new PE building at a 3 p.m. start against Montana State Building. So we're hoping to, to pack the den with that. So come on out. First 100 fans will get a free T-shirt. Um, so we'll see you then. And we'll uh, talk to you again next week. And as always, go Wolves.